The eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island continues with all activity confined to the summit caldera within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Vents continue to erupt on the western side of the downdrop block of the summit caldera and are generating lava flows onto the crater floor. Geologists say lava effusion rates continue to decrease, but they are still significant. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says fountain heights on Thursday reached up to about 10 to 15 meters or 32 to 50 feet. Spatter cones have formed around the fountains and the area of activity has not changed much over the past 24 hours. The most recent sulfur dioxide emission rate of 20,000 tons per day was measured on Wednesday afternoon, which is a continuation of the trending decrease in volcanic gas release. The latest Volcano Watch article written by observatory scientists details how they have been collecting and analyzing lava samples to learn about the current eruption. Due to the location of this activity on the down drop block, which is the first time lava from a summit eruption has emerged outside Hale Ma'uma'u crater in 41 years, geologists have been able to collect molten samples from close to the vent. The observatory scientists then work closely with partners at the University of Hawaii at Hilo to quickly analyze the samples in the hopes of learning more about the nature of the eruption. For example, the temperature and chemistry of the lava from this new activity looks very similar to the past four eruptions. The article suggests that even if hotter magma from a deeper source is moving into the volcano, it is continuing to mix and cool in a shallower magma body before reaching the surface. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says it will continue to closely monitor Kilauea for any changes in activity.